All right, we got a bunch of phone calls right now. A lot of great veterans called in. We're going to get to all your calls. Let's go to Robert, an Army veteran from Kansas. Go ahead, Robert. Hey, Owen. Thanks for the call. And uh, Tony, man. I'll, I'll call you anytime, night. Robert. I love when I when I when I call you late nights. Yeah, give me a call, bro. Uh, and Tony, yeah. you went first wave in Afghanistan, man. That that had to be exciting, you know. My goodness. Um, and it it was see. a different time, in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, I bet it was. I bet it was wild, man. Just the terrain alone, let alone everything else. Uh, I spent some time in Iraq unfortunately, but uh, I never got to see Afghanistan there. I bet it's beautiful. Um, uh, there's p- certain parts of it. I mean, obviously, too, the poppy fields can be very beautiful, too, when you roll up on those. Um, yeah, I was at, I was in Afghanistan at a time uh, where there just wasn't a lot of international presence. They were we the, 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 the whole of the country hadn't been secured, and I don't know what condition it's in now. But uh, it was the Wild West. The, the, you know, you have to deal with the extreme temperature changes. I remember that, where it would get you know, cold at night, hot during the day. Uh, very rough uh, terrain, but rough and rugged. Yeah, and then once you get acclimated to that sort of weather, it can be like 80 degrees and you get cold because you're used to 120, 140 type thing. Yes. Um, I, want, I wanted to, uh, I, I told your call uh, your call screener there, Space Force, and that, you know, that's, that is what I want to talk about. But I want to know if Owen is ready to go to the next level. That's what I want to know. Well, that depends. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out, okay? I'm, I'm gonna and you know you might hang up on me. Uh, here's the deal, guys. Space is fake news. Okay. So are you? A, I'm I'm perfectly fine to go next level with you. I just I just want to premise: Are you a flat earther? The Earth is flat. You can confirm that for yourself with your own eyes. Okay. There's something called Operation Fishbowl in the 1950s and 60s. Our government tried to blow up the firmament that's above us. You guys know that? I I feel like I've heard, but I can't recall. Everything. I mean, I've seen it all. I, I've seen the journeys down to Antarctica, the claims of the ice wall that were written in declassified army memos, the secret bases down there. I mean, really, if you're a a fundamentalist, I believe you believe the earth is flat, or at least in a dome, according to the Old Testament. So, well, honestly, the way, the way where I'm that. at, Robert, on the whole thing is I'm open-minded. I, I understand that this reality is crazy, and I'm extremely open-minded. I'll just put it to you that the way. Best way to check. The best way to check for yourself is a large body of water because if Earth be a ball, right, it would curve at a certain rate, at a, and it would be you know, relatively uniformly convex. The water would be, right? But it's not. You could take a pair of optics. You know, I freaked out when I first started learning all this. I went and bought a telescope and trying to disprove such crazy nonsense, right? Because you because you think these people are stupid and crazy because you were taught basically a series of lies in school that you believed. And so uh, what I'm saying now is in my own research and my looking for myself, you find out that everything is different from what you're taught. I remember in the military circum- circumnavigating the globe in a plane, and I asked my uppers, you know, I asked my sergeant, my, my, my officer, why are our flight paths so uh, inefficient? Like we're flying all over here, and, and then once you put those same flight paths on a flat earth map, they're direct. And so um, there's all sorts of things where you can find out that uh, that really is the big lie, is to deny the existence of God by saying that uh, you're, you're an accident from a monkey spinning <laughs> on a ball in something called space. And that really is the um, the lie that uh, we will have to overcome if we're going to go uh, and, and be what we can be as people. All right. Well, uh, like I said, I, I actually, I've, I've gone down these rabbit holes. So I'm pretty much privy to a lot of the stuff you're talking about. I will say this, a lot of the math that they claim the earth that they used to claim the earth is round has been disproven to me. That does not prove the earth is flat. I'm open-minded whether the earth is round or flat to me, um, at least to me right now, doesn't really make a difference. Maybe someday it will, if they start to claim they're launching people into space and they never come back. Um, but look, I'm open-minded. I think it's a great conversation. And now I see flat earthers getting banned off of YouTube, which kind of just is like, Oh, Boy, that's going to make the flat Earth uh, movement 
even more real. I don't know. Uh, your thoughts, Tony? Have you ever been to the moon? <laughs> Not yet. No, I'd love to okay. go. Though. I'd love to go. Oh. Well, let's, let's take the moon landing just as a, as a small example of one of their lies, right? Because I used to think we landed on the moon. But think about 50 years ago, five decades and then think about who we are as Americans and what we do. If we had landed on the moon 50 years ago, there would be hotels up there by now. You could buy a ticket, like a cruise, it'd be a few thousand dollars probably, but you could go to the moon like as a retreat. Maybe they're already up there. Maybe China's already, maybe China's already recreational on the moon. Well, the reason we're not on the moon now or not on Mars is because uh, the the politics of the globalists, the people that usurped the American drive and spirit over 40 years ago, uh, continue to do that. That's why we're looking down instead of looking up. This is uh, just when you start focusing on uh, earthbound things and Robert, the best nursing home. Robert, the flat earth movement is gaining popularity, but you've got a, a long uphill battle ahead, friend. I'm in they for a second, them. guys. I just wanted oh. to let you guys know that I have confirmation of the flat earth. All right. Oh, I grew up there. It's called Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> All right. It's the largest, flattest piece of earth on planet earth. Yeah. It's I just wanted to let you guys know. It's next to level land, Texas. Level land, Texas. That's right. We That's got some Texans in the view. studio. <laughs> hey, Robert, that was a great call. Really entertaining stuff. And, um, if, if you if you are somebody that is a what they call a flat earther, I mean, I don't know if they flat earthers like that term or not, but yeah, you would look at Space Force and be like, oh, that's a total sham. Everybody gets to speak, Owen. Everybody gets Everybody to speak. Gets to speak. I, I say I want the flat earthers to join InfoWars, like get banned on YouTube, hop on board. I don't care.